Praise the Lord. A very good morning. Good morning, brother. Praise God. Praise God. Today we have Brother Johnson with you. Hi. After a very long time, yeah. Good morning. He was busy with his daughter's wedding and he was uh, away. Uh, uh, he was partying or so on. And the marriage was a big success. Thank oh, you for yes. the prayers. Okay. Yes. Brother, today, let's uh, uh, bring a, a scripture before you, uh, the people. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, which is a very prominent, famous scripture. Yeah. And I think the Bible rests on it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? yes. Can you explain to us a little more deeper? The whole Bible speaks about God's love. Okay. Now, why did God create man? In his own. To make him in his own image. But why? Why? Because he loved. Because he is full of love. God is love. Love, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So he created man right. because he is love. Correct. So he is by default a lover. And man, who we created in his likeness and image, would be a lovey. Right. Okay. So, a lover is the one who gives, the lovey is the one who takes yes. exactly. and receives. Okay? Yes. yes. So, when God created this plan, he created it in such a way that just as God is in heaven, right. he loved man so much that he gave this earth and said, just as I am a God in heaven, I want you to be the God. Another. Right. Okay. So when he created man, he gave him all dominion in everything. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So now this man was supposed to take all that God has given him. Yes. And that's why God blessed him. The first thing he says, he blessed him. Correct. The word blessing means to be empowered. Amen. Yes. Okay. Yes. So he's empowered to operate like God and bring God's things into this world. Correct. Now God gave him everything. Right. He kept just one thing for himself, and that is the tree of good and evil. He said, Do not eat this fruit. Yes. Many times I wonder why did God keep the tree? If he had not kept the tree, there would have been no problem. problem. Yes. You know, when you are loving somebody, Correct. that love is not an emotion, right. that love is an action, it yes. is your commitment. Yes. So when you were young, right. now see the young. <laughs> of course. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about yeah. those days when, when you are just, okay, you are married a beautiful wife. Right. Okay, and you say to your wife, I love you. Right. Okay. And might be a time came when you had to leave Pune right. and shift to Dubai. Correct. But the situation was not that bad, that good. Yes. So you told your wife, let me go ahead and then I will call you right, right. and he joined the office and everything is going good you are talking to her every day but there are other beautiful women also in the office yes okay of course now emotionally feeling wise they might be looking more attractive than your wife right. okay okay but now what are you doing you are saying as a man i am attracted yeah. but because i love you i will prove my love by being Faithful. Faithful to you. Correct. Correct. So in the same way, Adam mm. says, God, I love you. Right. But to show you my faithfulness to you, yeah. even though that tree right. is drawing me, but I will say no to it and yes to you. you. Correct. Correct. Are, are you following? Yes, yes. So we know that Adam and Eve got deceived and they ate the fruit and everything got into a mess. Correct. Now, when Adam got into the mess, God did not leave Adam, he came in search of Adam. Right. Okay. He knew that he had eaten the food. Yes, yes. But he wants to save the whole mankind and therefore he comes in search of Adam because of love. Right. Exactly. So what did Jesus actually come to do? Many people say Jesus came to forgive our sins, he came to set us free. Right. Okay. But there is something more deeper than that. Right. When God created man, he spoke the word by faith, created man, and spoke to man, faith. Right. And by faith, Adam began to operate and all things began to become good. Good, yeah. But the moment Adam received the words of the devil, which he believed, yes. he activated another law of faith instead of a law of faith. Yeah. A law of faith goes and creates. Right. When the same word is reversed, Correct. That same word comes back 
as a law of fear or a law of sin and death. Oh, oh, yes. And that comes to kill and destroy. And that's why Adam lost it all. Okay. Now, when this law of sin and death got activated, every child born is born from Adam and Eve. Correct. And before the fall, there were no children. Yes, yes, of course. So every child is born with the nature of rebel and the power to commit sin. Right. right. So now the very law of life that God had created has been replaced by a law of sin and death. Yes. And therefore no man can ever, ever save himself and the whole human race is going to uh, end up in hell. Now, no, now, no. now, God never created hell for man, he created hell for Satan. Yes. So Satan deceived man and got him qualified to hell. Now when Jesus, uh, when God made this plan to send his son Jesus, he is sending his son Jesus with his word. Right, right. And Jesus comes to this planet Earth as man. Correct. Grows as man. Correct. And his job is whatever Adam activated the law of sin and death through the words of the devil, Jesus is now going to fight back as man and Satan is going to use all his deception to deceive him and Jesus will still be stuck to the Father's will or the Father's word. word. So on the cross he tried everything. Okay. He crucified, he did everything to make Jesus operate in uh, fear which is sin. Right. Anything that you do not operate by faith is sin. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now comes that climax where Satan is saying, Krishna my body. What does he do? He strips his naked. Now, every root of sin that we have ever committed is only when your focus is on yourself. Correct. If my selfish drawing want pleasure, I will disobey God. Correct. Okay? Yeah. So when a person is hanging on the cross naked, right. his focus with all the people watching him, his focus will be on self. Yes. So if you put a person to shame, the first thing you will try to do is cover his shame. Okay. So the devil said to himself, if I give him this last shot that I have, right. after that he has tried it all. Okay. okay. This is the last one. He and if I strip him naked, yes. he will talk to his father asking him to stop it. Yes. Yes. Okay? So he gives that shot to Jesus and Jesus turns around and speaks to his father. Yes. Not for himself, but because of love. Yes. He says to his father, these people, because he can see, the Bible clearly says they were casting out lots for his garment. Yes. Yes. And that's the time he opens his mouth and speaks to his father, saying, Father, please do not hold this sin against them. Don't don't hold it. Just forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Do it, yes. So that's where he displays extreme love. Yes. So so when when you say God so loved the world, he is saying that he loves us so much that he is not focused on himself anything. He is ready to die, he is ready to be sacrificed. But his focus is how can my life bring salvation to the human race. Amen. At that time, if Jesus had to turn his eyes on himself, Amen. he would have walked out of yes. the plan of God. Amen. So in our life, when we are under pressure, we quickly, uh, when we get into extreme uncomfort, the first thing we pray to God is, God, please do something and get me out of this trouble. Yes, yes. But a person who has got a godly mindset, Right. He is not interested in himself, but is in, interested in the kingdom of God and the assignment. And for him, the highest priority is not well, uh, what will I get. Yes. His highest priority is, Lord, I am submissive to you, even to the point of death, that I just want to do what your word says. Amen. Amen. And when that happens, see, after he said this, then he uh, opened out his mouth and said, into your hands and come, come in and nice And before that he said it is finished. Now that was the final. Yes. That was the final. And Jesus won the battle. Correct. By showing his love. Okay. Now now let's say Jesus had to say, Father, bless them. Yeah. Okay. If he had to say, Father, bless them, 
then we would have all got blessed. But, but we wouldn't have got forgiveness. So, so for anything to live a victorious life, the key that man needs more than the blessing is forgiveness. Because if he doesn't get forgiveness, he's still qualified to go to hell. If he is not receiving call of uh, forgiveness, he has no relationship with God because God is light and unforgiveness is darkness. Right. So Jesus did not pray for something small. He prayed for the foundation of that what man needed. Amen. And that is called love. He gave man the thing that he needed the most. Right. And that's what he prayed for. And when he prayed that, he showed his love. So, so love as man is, oh, you brought bouquet for me, I love you. Yeah. yeah. So, so you oh, satisfied me, I love you. Yeah. But when it comes to God, it is, I am either focused to God right. or to others, but not to myself. So now when he says God so loved, yeah. he's not focused on himself, but he's focused on you and me. And not even focused on his son that much, how much he's focused on you and me to save us from eternal damnation. Where we'll be living for eternity, but separated from God, tortured and tormented daily in the pits of hell. So to get that thing, he used his love and displayed his love by taking his son and offering it as a sacrifice. So, so we have just, just studied on love. Uh, tomorrow we will go ahead, so we will get the next. Sure, sure. Praise God. Praise God. My dear brothers and sisters, I think he's clear. If you've seen the movie Passion, at the end, when he dies on the cross, the devil suddenly goes wild because he has lost the battle. He thought, like what brother said, when he stripped him naked, he thought he would turn around and he would say, okay, now get me out of this, out of shame. But Why he would have even covered his shame? He would have covered his shame. But he's not looking at himself. Not at all. Not at all. Now, now, every time you have been hurt or you have been broken or you have been sorrowful, just ask a question. Is my mind on self? Yes. And if my mind is on God and others, then I am all the time trying my best to use the grace of God for others to experience life beyond imagination. Amen. 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 Beautiful. So well explained by brother today. Take back. If you have to rewind and see it again, please do it. Because there's tremendous meaning right from Adam and Eve to the end. How God sacrificed it is only the God of Son. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marriage. Yes. Okay. Marriage is where two people come together. Correct. Okay. And they make a decision that we will love one another. Right. Okay. Yeah. And in that covenant, Jesus comes into that covenant. Correct. Okay. Now the, the, this is a covenant of love. Right. So in this covenant of love, when they both become wow. one, when they both become one, they have lost their identity and they have come up with a new identity. Correct. Okay. Correct. Correct. Now in this, the husband is a lover right. to his wife. Correct. But at the same time, he is a loving to God. Okay. Yes. okay. So he has a loving to God, receives from God. And now with his wife, he has only one relationship. Like Christ has his relationship with the church. Right. So he is saying Christ died for his church in the same way. Wife, I am not going to demand from you. Yeah. But whatever God has given me, I am willing to die for you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yes. And now the wife on the other side is saying, I am your loving. Okay. Correct. I am very willing to submit to you. Right. And do all that right. God has assigned for me. Correct. So I am not going to live for me, but I am going to live for you. Amen. Amen. Please God. And, 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 and in this battle, you will find that the husband and wife are not agreeing on them. many things. Yes. Which normally brings breakups. breakups. Yes. But when they both decide to stay together and work on it, there's constant friction, there's constant pressure, right. and that makes them the real diamond. 
Diamond is nothing but carbon. Correct. Under extreme pressure, has withstand the pressure and the heat. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Heat and pressure together, the carbon has turned into diamond, mm -hmm. which now glitters. Yes. In the same way, in our marriage, there is extreme pressure and heat. Right. And in that pressure and heat, when you withstand it with the word of God, your marriage becomes like a diamond. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Well, my brothers and sisters, we've heard today. Let's come together, learn from it, grab each and every word he has said today, and let's keep changing our lives in the new lives. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. Oh, yeah. God bless you all. Okay. And let this word that you have heard not come back empty, but let this word give us deeper understanding, Father, that every marriage is blessed and every marriage becomes like a diamond shining in this world that others are attracted and their lives are being changed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.